first look at the top features of Colt OS running on the Xiaomi Poco F1. Hey peeps, what's up? Manchi here, back with another video. And in this video, we're going to have a look at the top features of Colt OS based on Android 10 running on the Xiaomi Poco F1. First up, we have the system UI and the presentation right from the start when you boot up this ROM. Have a look at that super cool Colt OS boot animation. Trust me, this boot animation is definitely out of this world and I can only imagine the amount of hours it took to create this boot animation. Then if you open the settings application, you will see that the icons have been changed and they are refreshingly different. The animations are super cool, super smooth. All the gestures are pretty smooth as well. You do have the new volume panel from Paranoid Android and again, super cool, super smooth animations. The transitions are pretty cool as well. And if you go into the settings application and let us go into battery, you will see that you have a new animation for the battery as well tap on it it is going to show you your battery usage and of course you do have smart charging in the building along with your battery temperature so again in terms of system ui pretty cool pretty smooth and oh before i forget you can choose between two different type of recents so you can go into settings called enigma system and miscellaneous here it is recent style you can either use the default or you can also use Omni switch and the best part is both of them work at the same time. So here it is We have the fast Recents from Android 10 press and hold on this and we have the recents from Omni switch working like a boss. I mean, I am super impressed with the features which we get with the system UI and you can also customize your screen turn off animation you will find this option in settings called Enigma go into system animations and bam here it is screen off animation these are the different options which you can choose and we also have a super cool cold papers application baked in which has pretty dope wallpapers have a look at this cold wallpaper oh my god these wallpapers are like super impressive and a lot of work has gone into creating these super cool wallpapers then this rom is a paradise for gamers out there you can go into settings called enigma system and go into miscellaneous you have a specific gaming mode enable this tap on gaming mode and you can block your notifications disable automatic brightness what do you want to do with the ringer in gaming mode then gaming mode indication do you want it disabled show a notification show toasts show toasts and notification both and in case you want dynamic mode you have a toggle for that as well which is going to add the gaming apps automatically to gaming mode and you can also manually add apps to gaming mode using this option then you have a screen recorder which is baked in and you have to enable it from the quick setting tile and this is the oneplus screen recorder if you go into settings you do have the option of recording internal audio and you do have these different options as well next up for those of you who are worried about your fps you have a quick setting tile for fps info as well just enable it and bam here it is you can see that on the top left we have our fps information and if you're worried about your cpu being overheated tap on cpu info you have an overlay for the cpu temperature and the different cores as well so all in all a pretty dope rom if you game because you have gaming mode you can see your fps info you have a screen recorder baked in you can also monitor your cpu temperature while you are gaming then we have theming so if you go into settings cold enigma system cold decorations bam here it is this is the themes and wallpapers app which come baked in with pixel devices you can choose between these different themes create your own custom theme if you want to then you have the option of different clocks you have default bubble analog the type and binary then you can configure your grid whether you want 3x3 4x4 5x5 or 6x6 and of course you can choose your wallpapers if you want to other than that 
going back into the theming section for cold os you can also choose between predefined themes created by the cold os team and you can also use your accent colors as well so these are the pre-baked accent colors which you get however if you do not like any of them you can always use one which you like by using the accent picker and bam here it is the accent colors have now changed previously it was red and now it is blue not only this you can also customize or theme your quick settings so go back into cold enigma status bar quick setting customizations here it is you can use a custom header image either you can use a header provider as a image collection or if you prefer a specific image select single image over there and then you can select any local image from your storage or you can choose from the different collections which are baked in to cold os and there are a bunch of different collections which are present the only issue which i found was that sometimes the image is kind of cut off let me see if i can find a good image which can show that off here it is let's use this one right so now if i swipe down you will see that the image is kind of cut off the edges are not pretty smooth so this is where i think they can make some improvements and you can also change the style of icons in the status bar for that you'll go into settings display scroll down icon shape right now it is set to square so here it is these are my quick setting icons right now let us change that to say cylinder and wait for the system ui to restart here it is it is now cylindrical and of course you do have quick settings blur baked in as well and you can also customize the accent colors of the quick settings specifically so cold enigma and then you'll go into quick settings and here we have a section for quick setting themes if you want to use the default colors you have a toggle for that right now it is using the default color let us disable this and say we want the quick setting panel color to be green and bam here it is the quick setting panel color is now green you also have the option of say use your wallpaper color instead of green and now it is using my wallpaper color or you can also use the accent color and bam it is now using the accent color so pretty good options in terms of customization and theming of your quick settings your android ui as a whole and you can also customize your lock screen so we'll go back into cold enigma go into lock screen and bam here it is lock screen ui so from here you can choose between different clock styles for the lock screen and this will override the option which you chose in the wallpapers application so you do have sami which means lock screen clock from samsung full accent and trust me all these options work absolutely fine you can of course change your default date style what is the font you're looking for your clock the size of the font similarly you can customize your date font along with size and of course owner info font options for the font and the owner info font size as well my favorite feature is the battery bar which you can get in the lock screen so where do you find that well you go into settings cold os settings lock screen display lock screen shortcuts here it is enable this toggle for show battery bar and you will get a battery bar on your lock screen when the device is charging next up we have gestures which do include full screen gestures going to settings cold enigma buttons you have a separate section for gestures going to aosp gestures system navigation you can choose between three different kind of navigation styles full screen gestures the two button navigation or the three button navigation once you scroll down and you have gesture navigation selected you do have a toggle to disable the pill and Trust me, it is a very welcome change because I am not sure why Google has that ugly pill at the bottom. Another thing which I would like the developers to do away with is this ugly back arrow which shows up every time you trigger the back option. We do have three finger screenshot as well. So we'll go back to the same place and here it is. Swipe to screenshot, enable this toggle. Bam, three finger screenshot working like a boss. And of course you can also configure your screenshot type so if you want to take a full screenshot you can use that or if you want to take a full screenshot with extended screenshots you have a option for that as well and we can give that a try 
so here it is we'll go into the settings application three finger screenshot bam here it is expanded or extended screenshots whatever you call it working like a boss and you can also choose to take a screenshot of a specific screen area as well so this is the second option drag selection on the area you want to take as a screenshot other than that you do have double tap on the status bar to put the device to sleep double tap to wake here it is working like a boss with no issues to report at all next up we have ambient display and ambient lighting so for ambient display you'll go into settings called enigma and then you'll go into lock screen lock screen display and here we have ambient display you can choose to show your battery level on the lock screen you do have the option of always on and always on while charging however me personally my experience with this was not good because every time i turned it on either for always on or always on while charging and turn the screen of the device off it would never come back on so i would not recommend you to use always on display on the poco f1 because it does have a lcd panel however you do have double tap to wake and pick up which work absolutely fine so here it is double tap to wake working like a boss on the poco f1 then you do have ambient lighting or edge lighting so for that you'll go back into cold enigma and then you'll go into system notifications ambient light bam here it is you can enable or disable edge lighting or ambient light as cold os prefers to call it you can customize the color if you want an automatic color based on the primary color of your wallpaper or if you want to change the color you can change it using the accent color picker and of course you can also configure the light duration so here it is we can have a look at a demo of edge lighting we should have orange edge lighting in the building pretty soon there it is and if i double tap it did unlock the device so there it is peeps those are the top or major features of cold os running on the xiaomi poco f1 and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when I see you.